morning, and welcome to the Shack and First Monday Morning Minute. Good morning, and welcome to the Monday Morning Minute. I'm Dr. Todd Shack, and today on our next patient, we have our friend here, Jamil. We're going to be extracting two teeth that have abscesses on them, number seven and eight. We're going to take out the two teeth. We're going to clean out all the infection. We're going to put some mini mono dental implants. We're going to put some mono implants in at seven and eight. I'm going to be using 3-0 by 13 millimeter monos. We're going to replace those two teeth. And we're going to put bone graft in the sockets where we extract and clean out all the infection. We're going to put the implants in immediately. We're going to put her on an antibiotic afterwards and we're going to temporaries on so she looks good when she leaves here. I've done a lot of work on Jamil over the years and she's got many mini implants and also she's had a lot of other dental work. So unfortunately it's come to a point where number seven and eight have got to be lost. They're old root canal teeth that are just failing. So you can see there's a large abscess on number seven and number eight and there's actually a crack in the root canal on number eight uh, internal resorption and apical pathology on both of those. You see on the bottom left, she's got Im mini implants that are doing just fine, but in for a long, long time now. She's had those in there for many, many years. She's had a lot of root canals in her mouth, a lot of dental work, but we're going to get rid of those two infected teeth. All right, so let's go ahead and start here. You should be all nice and numb. Let me see if if you have any discomfort, you tell me, okay? A little bigger. Yeah. You're okay. Try to stay with them. Oh, you're doing great. Oh. Are you connected? Okay. Okay, one tooth is out. Okay, both teeth are out. Now we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna clean out that infection at the tip of the root. A lot of granulation tissue up here in this lateral especially. buckle plate is completely gone on number seven. But what we do when we do these implants is we form a new buckle plate by angling the implant a little in the palatal direction. So the bone on the buckle of the implant is actually palatal bone. And then we pack the buckle plate with new bone. Uh, the Restore Plus bone graft material works very well for that. Okay, so I'm going to start with the number eight implant. Are you able to get close in here, Garen, to see what I'm doing? So I'm angling this a little toward the palate. I'm using my 1.5 millimeter pilot drill and a little bit of a palatal angulation. I'm feeling the inside of the palate to make sure that we're not going too far palatally. Suction. Use your surgical suction. Can you surgical suction, please? Hi, drill extender. Hard to see in there. You feel pain? Uh -oh. 
Okay, let me see the... The Mono 3.0 by 13 millimeter implant. Open for me. Three point three or three 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 oh was it three oh right? Okay. Okay, we got one implant in. Because of her infection at the root tip, the bone is a little bit soft, but we're gonna try to get two of them in and bone graft, and hopefully we're gonna have success with healing. Okay. We start out by hand threading the implant in place. Then you can place it either with a ratchet driver or with the motor. So we got our second implants going in. Okay, I don't wanna bury it any more than that because I need enough of the abutment above tissue, but you're gonna get some shrinkage. You're gonna get a little shrinkage of tissue. I'm gonna trim a little bit, a little bit of the tissue here. And that should heal pretty nicely. Because of the infection, we're going to give it some time to heal. So I'm using the Restore Plus bone that we started offering earlier this year as, as a really nice product. What I like about it is it's, it's a pure, po pure bovine collagen. It's very pliable and you can pack it in around these implants very nicely. Try to go more on the buckle, I think, of this one. This is where the, the biggest problem is. So in a matter of just a few minutes, we extracted two teeth, we placed two implants, and now I'm gonna put the hemostip, which I like to put over the top of the uh, bone graft and around the implant, it'll help to form a little bit of a clot and it'll help it heal. When it gets wet, it tends to fall apart a little bit, but.
Colton? All right. It looks good. Okay, I'm going to leave it to my very capable assistant, Dominique, to help make some nice-looking temporaries for her. We'll keep them out of occlusion, okay? Yep. And make them look as nice as we can for her so she has some teeth to smile with. Even though Halloween's coming up, we don't want to leave her with any metal peg sticking out of her mouth. <laughs> All right? Okay, very good. Thank you for joining me on the Monday Morning Minute. We'll see you for our next patient. Join us for our last advanced course of 2025. We're going to have a great lineup of speakers at this course. It occurs on November 20th, which is a Thursday, the 21st, which is a Friday, and the 22nd, which is a Saturday. It's a three-day event. And Dr. Gordon Christensen will be lecturing on Friday the 21st. And then in the afternoon when Dr. Christensen finishes up, we're going to see some great live surgery from Dr. Shacken. The previous day on the 20th, we're going to have Dr. Shacken lecture. Dr. Tharp will be lecturing with us. And then Saturday is going to be a phenomenal day of education. We're going to be in our new preclinical lab uh, with for our hands-on uh, demonstration. Dr. Shacken and Dr. Tharp will be running that. But right before that starts, Dr. Tharp's going to talk about his 40 years of implantology, some of the things that have gone very well and some of the things that haven't gone so well. He's going to talk about that. We're going to talk a little bit about using your iPhone or your Android to um, take dental pictures, really nice pictures. And then we're going to talk a little bit about our hands-on and what, what to expect during the day. It's going to be a real great session. Uh, we look forward to having everyone coming out to Buffalo one last time for the year. And you'll get some hands-on experience using real bone in our new preclinical lab. So it's going to be a great day of education. I hope everyone has a wonderful week placing mini and mono implants. And we look forward to seeing everyone in Buffalo on November 20th, the 21st, and the 22nd. Have a great week.